my 2013 MacBook Pro is my daily driver and what constantly keeps me motivated to get my creative work done. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what is on the MacBook Pro as of late 2020. Let's get into it. And also one other thing to keep in mind, this is an early 2013 MacBook Pro, so it doesn't have the best specs, it also doesn't have the latest update of macOS Big Sur. I'm considering upgrading to an ARM-based Mac in the future, the Apple Silicon, the M1 chip, the lineup there honestly looks super cool, but this video is based on what I have right now, all the apps I'm using, what my browser looks like. Alrighty, so we are currently on the interface right now. The biggest thing you can notice is the Maxwell Chen background. I made it in Glitch VHS, that is an app on your phone that you can easily um, make text with that looks glitchy and I think it looks really great. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to make glitch text like this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. The first one here of course is Finder, the default one where I store all of my files, screenshots and audio, whatever I need for my videos. Getting into the actual stuff here, let's go to actually documents first because that's where I store all of the video files. If you did watch one of my videos before about organizing files, I'll leave a link in the description down below for where you can find that as well. I actually did go over exactly how I organize my finder, but I might as well just briefly um, go over that real quick now. And so right here, just some overlays and effects that I like to use. This beep one, um, you know, just plays like this. Here's just an old film that I use, um, pause and play. It's a green screen effect that I can easily input in iMovie. Rewind here, here's a sparkle, and here's um, vintage overlay I like to use all the time. And then here's just my podcast, the logo, and the, um, the thumbnail. Next up is music, so here's all the music that I've used um, so far in my videos. So I'm trying to sort them here. I tried putting some of them in instrumental already. It's taking a really long time to do it, but I'll eventually get to it. And I try to reuse some of the music, I don't want to keep downloading mp3 files. And the next up here is sound effects. I have a pack of 10 Woosh sound effects here. Camera shutter, cast register, just to name a few. I like to label them so it's really easy in one or two words so I get to know exactly what I'm looking for. Easy access here, you know, all of the um, easy access stuff, like link in the description, that is a text that I frequently use here. Older stuff, like my in my older intro, thanks for watching text, my subscriber animation right here. And another key thing that I forgot to point out is using emojis when you're organizing. Um, I believe you can do this in Windows or Chrome, whatever you're using, so be sure to use emojis because it definitely spices it up a little bit. Next up is images here. Images. Like like of just pictures that I like, my logo, or just images that I like to save here in general. Here's just some random stuff here. This is my 4x4 Rubik's Cube solve, 29 seconds. And then here is the collab with Starkwake Heroes. These are all the files for it. If you want to check that video, be sure to check the link in the description down below. I like to keep it until I have actually published the video, then I'm able to actually delete it. And then what I like to do over here, there's a setting, I believe. You can see the storage available on the Mac. Right now we have 58.68 gigabytes, um, but otherwise that is all in the documents. And in terms of downloads, I don't like to keep too many things in here. Visual Studio Code, that is where I like to code because I do robotics at schools. Here's just another song, a song that I was trying to make back in May. I try to keep the downloads downloads window as minimal as possible, try not to keep anything there. That's sort of like the inbox and then I sort it into something else later. Exiting out of Finder here on the desktop itself, here is just a video, a very special project I'm working on. By the time this video comes out, that video will be out. This video is not on this channel specifically, but it is going to be on my other channel, um, MC Stuff. I'm going to be leaving that in the link in the description down below as well. Sorry to overwhelm you guys, but it's basically a documentary about my cubing career and how I've been doing this for five years. If you want to check that, check the link in the description. And then this is just another file for the documentary. And next up here on the apps bar is Google Chrome. So I do use this as my main web browser and it looks pretty basic here. I like to keep everything in a darker mode because I normally do edit at night and it does help a lot that it doesn't strain your eyes because when you see the brightness, it uh, makes you want to be awake more and it does help me fall asleep a bit more when I switch to dark mode on here If you guys didn't know this already you can go down here and click customize You can have it with whatever background you want here a color and theme So there's all of these different color options I personally chose the black one and then up here in terms of bookmarks I like to keep it also as minimal as possible I don't want to overwhelm myself and having too many things just the stuff that I use on a daily basis And right here is just Google Drive and that is what I use to import the files from my phone Here is my link to my website if you haven't checked it, there's going to be a link in the description down below for my website as well. I just like to keep it there so I can always refer to it if I need to edit the site. Right here is just the MP3 downloader I like to use. And then lastly here, this is just a course that I'm taking.
making right now. It's a free thing and I just keep coming back to it for the past 30 days. Something important also that I like to do is not add text to it. That was it for Chrome. Now on to my favorite application on here, iMove, which is the editor I currently use to edit all the videos on this channel. So right here, here's all the projects I'm currently working on right now. Um, nothing you guys haven't already seen. We are just looking at the documentary that I'm working on right now. Some a voiceover clip of it. The collab with Starkway Kiro is here, my podcast, and then also just a duplicate file of my documentary as well. And then media here, you can just see all of the files that I'm, I've been using. Nothing's too exciting for iMovie. Like I said before, if a video has been out for like a week or so, I do delete the file afterwards. Next up in terms of applications here that I use is Notion. I'm currently using Notion right now to actually plan this video or I'm filming it right now so might as well just um, show you this. As you can see this is the intro that I'm using right now to make it. Planning, I don't really have much right here. Title ideas, reminders, and b-roll shots. I haven't gotten to that yet because I'm still filming this currently right now. And then here's the checklist of just everything I need to do when I'm done with it. I just check it off so like if I got timestamps then I just check that off. It's just something that I constantly go back to. In the future I will make a video about how I use Notion as a student and also just how I use it in general because I feel like the one I made back in the summer is kind of outdated. I have a much better system now and once again Notion is in dark mode so I don't stream my eyes. Next up on the list here is QuickTime Player. So QuickTime Player is absolutely a game changer for me. I don't want to click on it right now because I don't want to um, disrupt anything because I'm actually using it to screen record what you guys are seeing right now. It's a free software that, that comes with the Mac. Next up here is Spotify where I get to see all of my music. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find my Spotify playlist. Here's just all of the music, all the podcasts I've been listening to. I normally just listen to today's top hits, the daily mixes that are put together. Spotify is something that I always like to keep on. It's always open whenever I open up the computer and I can easily click the um, function keys at the top, like the play and the um, go to the next song. If I have like a break in between, then I'll just click that and then I'll just keep listening to the music. And the next up here is just the trash, you know, nothing else to say about it, just files I've deleted. But otherwise, everything down here, it's just the stuff I frequently use on a day-to-day -day basis that I always keep on here. But otherwise, um, here's just some of the rest of the applications. Most of the stuff I barely use, like Instagram on here, um, CS Timer, DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> Those are all the applications down here, but the last thing I want to talk about here is Alfred. It's an easy to use search application that you can easily um, use for productivity, and I personally use it quite a bit. So on Mac, so you click the option key on your keyboard and then space, and then it opens up this window right here. And what you can do is just search whatever you want. So if I type in Finder, for example, it goes exactly to the Finder, and it's a lot easier instead of scrolling down using the trackpad and clicking Finder. I haven't experimented with it that much. I don't know all of the commands, but I just use it to simply open Alfred applications really easily. That's another really handy dandy thing that I keep using to increase my productivity and get time done and get things done. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up of all of the things that I currently use on my MacBook Pro as of late 2020. And I know this is sort of basic and in the future, I do plan on getting an upgraded Mac after having this one for seven years, but just having, I think a basic minimal computer just like this, just the bare bones of what I actually need is something that I've really stuck with and it doesn't keep me distracted and it allows me to get my work done really efficiently. So if you haven't already, be sure and try to minimize your computer as a whole, try to organize it in with files, sit down and take at least 15 minutes of your time, separate everything into folders, make sure that download folder is all clean, that should be your inbox in a way. That is all for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I know this is a highly requested video so if you'd like me to make any other videos in the future, let me know in the comments down below. I really do appreciate your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. You guys know what to do. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.